Okay, let's set the scene. You're at your local thrift store. You see a gorgeous cocktail dress. And let's be honest, you drool a little bit, but then you think to yourself, I have nowhere to wear this. Lies. And I'm gonna prove it to you with the power of math. Hi, I'm Kathleen, and a couple videos ago, I styled this very fancy cha-cha-cha number in a couple different casual ways. And y'all said, I'm gonna need some more tips on how to do that. So here we are. All right, back to the math. Look at this graph. Remember that meme? When we see a more formal item and we think, this is too fancy, I have nowhere to wear this. This is the type of thinking we fall into. Linear, binary. It's fancy or it's casual. I guess business casual probably falls right here in the middle. But what if we add another variable? My eighth grade algebra is really coming in clutch here. What if we add expression to the Y axis? You could also call this creativity. And suddenly our options just got a whole lot more exciting, didn't they? Here's a smattering of visual examples. This is kind of starting to feel like a D&D &D character creation chart, isn't it? Whoa. And here is where we are going to be living for this video. This very colorful, not so gray space. So bottom line, the goal for this video is to start becoming more comfortable with this third option, where we're thinking more about self-expression and less about which bucket am I trying to fill today, casual or formal. And now that we have all of the heady mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's talk about real practical tips. Here is my simplest and most powerful answer. If you wanna style something that's a little more fancy in a more casual way, look at the top and the bottom, hair, Shoes. Pop quiz. Why does this outfit look more fancy than this outfit? They both feature a similarly formal main piece, but check out the hair and the shoes. In our more special occasion version, we see a typical formal hair look, very coiffed, very intentional, and a typical formal shoe. Heels, baby. But what if we swap those two things for their more casual cousin? The hair is a little more tousled and the shoes are decidedly casual. You really can't go wrong with a good pair of dingy sneakers or some stompy boots. And we have something that plays with expectations, has a lot more personality. Not saying the formal version is bad. It's just not really what we're going for today. So here's how I would do it. We start with a lovely formal moment. And then all we're gonna do is swap the hair for some buns, my favorite hairstyle, and some Converse. It's basic. It's easy, and it's chock-a-block full of personality. If you want some extra inspo, Susie Bubble was one of the very first like fashion people I started following years ago, and she's super well known for rocking these crazy frilly dresses on top of jeans with sneakers and some cute playful hair. And even before that, Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City is an iconic example of wearing formal items in everyday situations, although I would not call her looks casual per se, but her stylist really did bless us with mountains of personal style inspo. Okay, next tip. Let's remember what we learned about the hair and the shoes and take it to the next level. Accessories, baby. We can add color and texture using funky socks, hair scarves, hats, the list goes on. Y'all know what accessories are, but this is a really fun place to play in your own wardrobe because it's super easy to swap these things in and out until you find a combination that you love. I think Kate over at Read Write Thrift also does a really great job of adding personality to her fancy slash casual looks by accessorizing. The frilly socks, the colorful hair clip, and the eyeliner. It's so fun, and these extra details just put such a lovely little bow on the whole look. Okay, next we're talking layers my one true love. I think layering kind of inherently takes some of the fanciness out of a look and makes it more casual. This versus this. And we can start by adding a simple layer either under or over our formal piece. So simple. This is not rocket science. Just add a graphic tee. You can also throw on a button up for added casual vibes. This can feel quirky depending on how much pattern clashing you do, or it can feel more effortless and cool if you keep things a little more monochromatic. Next, we could add some bulky or maximalist details by going for maybe like a chunky sweater over top or a puff sleeve moment underneath. I truly think this step is one of the easiest ways that you can make that kind of too sexy for the occasion dress much more casual and easygoing. The amazing made in the moment shows a great example of that here by taking something a little more slinky and then layering it up to add personality and comfort. 
Okay, next we're gonna hit three hot topics. Texture, pattern, and color. Keep an eye on the texture. Some fabrics have a more casual connotation, like denim, linen, and corduroy, which coincidentally align with like traditional workwear items. You'll notice that these fabrics typically don't have a lot of shine or slip to them. They're coarser and they can instantly dress down a look while keeping it super cool. You can add androgynous details this way easily as well. I also think mixing tweed and wool in classic suiting silhouettes here is another great way to bring in the wearability of formal pieces. Also, I know I'm styling and showing a lot of dresses specifically, as the formal looks, but these tips go for other formal items as well. Suits, outerwear, footwear, you name it. Next, pattern. A lot of times more formal items aren't patterned, and if they are, it's usually pretty subtle. Try introducing a bold, high contrast, or childish pattern. Maybe a ditzy floral or something decidedly vintage. Your formal piece might already have a loud pattern, which honestly makes it a little easier to make look casual because it has kind of a fun personality to it. It's not so serious. Kind of like this dress. It's got a great pop of color, a cool pattern, and I think it works well in more casual looks. And finally, we have color. Formal items can be very monochrome chromatic. It adds to a sense of unity and intention, but we want to have more fun. So we're going to add some color blocking to inject some fun back into it. If you're not familiar with color blocking, it's the idea of pairing items of different colors together. It's pretty simple, right? It's usually done with color palettes that offer a lot of saturation and contrast, but it can also be as simple as just adding a pop of color to an otherwise simple or monochrome look. Also, the opposite is true. Go heavy on just one color. This can feel very curated, but in like a fresh style editor type of way. Also, black is always a great option. My friend Louisa over at Funky Cool Threads did a great job of this recently by pairing this gorgeous and kind of fancy black dress with some chonky black layers to create a really cool, wearable, badass look. Editing Kathleen popping in here with something more to say. I totally get that wearing, you know, a frilly ball gown over some jeans with sneakers might be kind of like uncomfortable for a lot of people and not something that everyone wants to do. That's fine. I know that wearing outfits that blend in a little bit more can offer some safety and comfort for people. So I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong if you're doing that. I do that a lot of days too. But I hope you find these tips just inspiring if you want to dabble in the world of self-expression through style in a new way. I just want you to know you're great just the way you are, but I will always hype you up if you want to wear something wild. Okay, that's it. Okay, for our next tip, we're going a little bit experimental. This one might not be applicable across every formal item you have, but can you tweak the way that you're wearing the item? For example, you could add a tuck or unbutton the collar or only button the collar, maybe add a knot. This not only changes the silhouette slightly, but it can add a more casual lived in flair to your outfit. There's something effortlessly cool about adjusting and removing the constriction that comes with a formal piece. Very princess who runs away from the castle at night to go party with the peasants, you know? So here I'm showing you like a super simple example, but you get the idea. If you want to dive further, I think Beth over at B. Jones Style does a great job of wearing items in a new way, so definitely check her out if you're curious. Also, I'll have everyone that I mentioned linked down below, so don't you worry, babes. And finally, we will end on a banger. Research. Research. And by research, I mean find and study reference images to better figure out how are these people pulling off these looks. I think global fashion weeks and in the wild street style photography are great resources here. And we have recently been fed well by fashion week. Fashion week is where fashion folks come to see and be seen. And there's this air of wanting to be like effortlessly cool while rocking a kind of off the wall look. Avant-garde, we'll say. There's a lot of experimentation that happens here. And while we're not really going for off the wall or avant-garde here, we're just trying to figure out how to get more wear out of our formal pieces, we can still deduce some info about pairing items that don't typically go together and experiment with it ourselves. I'm a big fan girly of the Instagram accounts watching New York and NYC looks for cool street style inspo. What can I say? I like how they do it in the Big Apple. But if you have other street style sources that you like, don't be shy. Drop them in the comments. I would love to know. And it would be super cool if the comments could be a resource for everybody. And that's it. 
Let me know down below if you have any more tips on how to rock your fancy pieces in a more casual, cool, everyday way. And speaking of research, I'll have the Pinterest board with all of my reference images linked down below so you can do some research of your own. If you do happen to put these tips into practice and rock a fancy casual look of your own, please send me a picture on Instagram. I would love to see it and hype you up. You can find me there and pretty much everywhere else at Kathleen Illustrated. And if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe. For now, here's another video of me talking about fashion -y things and I'll leave you to it. I love you, you stinky baby. And I'll see you next week. Bye! Cool.